Yeah, good day guys, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, uh, I have a simple strategy. It's quite complicated, but then very simple and very, very important. Uh, I want us to go through it and see how we can use this strategy to trade our boom and crash. You see, I've, I've been telling people that if you see a strategy, test it. Maybe it is better than what you are using right now. Who knows? So that you can just... Uh, be, stick to it and work with it or if you test it and you don't like it you've gotten at least an information from there which will help you in your trading or better still the indicator windows we have window one you can add subsequent windows or you can add more window one window two window three which all of them you can add a strategy so that uh, it, it it will help you in your confirmation so that you put in a more upgrade trades yeah so you can use window one window two window three and put in the strategies there so you test the strategy if it is good for you you use it to confirm your strategies don't stick to one um strategy anytime you see a new video from me my channel please you check it out yes and before you can do that unless you subscribe to the channel so that if i upload you get them uh -huh. I want this video to be short, so let's go straight to uh, what I'm using. The indicators, the first one we, we are adding to the main chart is the fractals. So the fractals, that you add the fractals to the main chart. Yes, so you set it to default. This one, the, the puzzle is to choose any color that you want that will be visible for you. You click on done, so it will be added to the main chart for you. That's the fractals. The second one is the BS par. The BS par. You see, I keep doing the video so that I will show you guys how to use each of the indicators we have. The default indicators we have there in the MT5. Uh, so now today we are coming to learn about the alligator and then the BS par and then the, the boom par. So this is the BS par. You leave it at default. This one, the period should be 15. Not a default of 13, and then the puzzle is one, and then I chose a red color. You can choose any color that you want, then you are done. You click on done. So look at the boost par. The boost par. This one too is supposed to be 15. It's supposed to be 15. Then uh, you click on done. Yes, so the last indicator we are adding is the alligator. Alligator, you set it at default, and these figures will show up. Yes, so if you set it at default, these figures will show up. Then you click on them. So you have your strategy set. So how do you use it? You see, I don't use the BS and the boost power. I don't use them uh, in the same time. Uh -huh. If I want to, if I want to sell, then I will, I will delete the boost part because the boost is for uptrend or buying. If I want to sell, I will delete the boost, then I will, I will stick to the BS, and it's opposite. If you want to buy, then uh, you delete the BS. And here with the boom and crash, we are only buying crash because we are scalping. And we are selling boom. Yeah, so anytime it is on boom, you want to sell. So you only use the BA part. Then if you, you go to crash, then you insert the goose because you are looking for opportunity to buy. Yes. So let's go to how to use this strategy. But first, before you use the strategy, you have to confirm the trend. You have to confirm the trend if it is an uptrend. Then it's good to buy for crash but under current market you can see with the confirmation of the trend it is going down so i'm using the one hour time frame it's going down you can confirm it to with a 15 minute time frame you can still see the downtrend so it is no good to buy here because there will be frequent spikes you let's check from the one minute you could see frequent spikes see you could see frequent spikes going down you see if at this point you keep buying we don't take time you lose your money but it is in a downtrend 
So let's check from the boom and see maybe they will be perfect. You see boom two with the one uh, you see it's also in an uptrend with the one uh, if we check with a 15 minute look at that it's also in an uptrend big one so with boom we want to sell because we want to catch the small small with one minute but here it is an uptrend from our confirmation even our four you see even with the fourth hour also confirming a serious uptrend so you you won't be buying because of the frequent spikes look at that so we want to be buying these small small ones but then because of the trend in the market currently you stay out of the market yes so you only buy when you see that the trend is in an uptrend for crash and if it's in a downtrend for boom you sell so now let's look at how to use this uh, indicator so now I'm at boom. With boom, we are selling. So I will only need the BS par, which is this. So let me delete the boost par from this so that we concentrate on the we concentrate on the boom for now. It is opposite for the crash. So if you know how to use it here, you should be able to use it for crash also. So when do we sell? For crash no when do we sell for boom we sell when you see that the alligator line you see the alligator line here when the red line crosses the green and crosses the blue that's the first condition when you see that the red line has crosses the blue downwards then you know the market is going down especially if you see them spreading apart then you see it's a serious uh, sell position uh -huh. let me just get a uh, uh, some kind of so you see with here the red line has crosses the green here and has crosses the blue here and you see they were spreading apart here so you can see a serious downtrend going there so if you enter you can get something and take your five candlesticks and leave the market that's how it works anytime you see the red crossing the the green line and then the blue line that is the first indicator yes so here you see the red it crosses the green it came back to cross the blue and it spread apart from there you can see a whole lot of candlesticks which if you use a good strategy you should be able to get them that's the first indicator what's the second indicator you you look at the bs you see the BS, when there is an up, when they are up, don't enter the market. Wait until they, they fall below the zero line. Yes. So if they are down, then you know that uh, it's good for you to enter because it will keep going down. But if you see that the BS are above the zero line here, yeah, don't enter at that point. Wait. So that's the second condition you wait for the bs to fall below the zero zero line then you look at the red alligator line crossing both the green and then the blue crossing down yes and that's the second indicator then the third one then you look at your flat the flat house you see the flat house uh -huh. this is the flat house See the points, the point points, they are giving you the flag tiles. So the flag tiles, how do you use the flag tiles? For you to know that uh, the zone in which you are entering is safe, you look at uh, for this condition like this. You see, you see this is the first flag tile, second one here, the third, the fourth, the fifth. So you can only consider three. If you see that the line the you see that this one is falling and has gone below your first second third flag tiles if it has gone below and then your four flag tiles is in here meaning this zone is a safe zone you can enter the market there because uh, the probability of uh, the market going down here until you get to the next flag tile. you see you got, if you want to do the uh, naked naked markets or using your 
normal resistance and then the support level you can even use your eyes to get them but the flag tires helps you it gives you that this is the first this is the second the third this one the two are on the same line so if it breaks this line then this zone is safe you can enter and wait until it gets to this zone that's where you'll be expecting the second you see that's where you'll be expecting the second uh, spike after you've confirmed the first and then the second please use the flag tiles to check whether your zone is safe i'll do a video and explain more about these flag tiles so yours is to just subscribe so that you catch me in my next video so you can put it into your demo and back test on the video to be short it's already 10 minutes so i will end it here you can just back test and get any question that you have i'll leave my email below you just drop your questions suggestions and then we discuss it just subscribe and get all the subsequent videos thank you enjoy your day